hello what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel uh, first of all i would like to apologize for not being uh, consistent with uh, uploading i've been a little bit busy uh, but i promise you i uh, will be consistent now also for everyone who have emailed me asking for uh, either templates or files or whatever it is if i haven't uh, uh, replied to you i will do it as soon as possible i am really really sorry i was a little bit busy Okay, and uh, um, thirdly, I would like to thank you all for uh, for the support that uh, you are showing me. Uh, that being said, today I want to show you how you can model a, a tapered beam or a tapered column or a beam looking like this. So let's get to the video. Thank you. Okay, so what you want to do is you go to uh, families and then uh, you'll create new. And then um, um, uh, uh, for me, uh, I will go to beam, beam and, uh, and, and, and braces. If you want to create column, you should go to uh, structural columns, which is uh, here. If you want to create foundation, you will go to structural foundation. So I'll go to beams and then I'll press OK. OK, so now I will be met with this uh, page. First of all, what you want to do? There is already a beam here. As you can see, this is a beam, but I, I, I will delete it. So select it and then delete it. Okay. Now uh, I will go to left. Okay. So as you can see, there is a reference line here already. What I will do is um, I will create more uh, uh, reference lines. So I'll come here. I'll say uh, reference line and it tell me uh, to pick a plan. I will select left. And then okay okay now i will uh, start to draw my reference lines um i will uh, create um one here and then i'll create another one here and this this this, this will be my uh my reference lines and then i will use this for top of beam and then i will create another one here okay and then i'll create another one here Okay, now um, I think I'm in a very good spot, so I will start to um, to uh, to put dimensions. So I will uh, use this to um, to put a dimension on this, and then I will I want it to be equal. Okay, then uh, I can uh, this this the, the first dimension was just to make sure it's equal. So I will put uh, my main dimension here. And then uh, I will name this. I will name this as um, as B uh, for breadth. Okay. Also, what I will do again is to put a dimension from this one to this one, and I will um, I will name this um, I will name this as a big H. Okay. And then I will, I will, uh, uh, I will name this for as a small h. Okay, so put it, uh, name it as a small h. And then, okay, so now I think I'm in a very good spot. What I want to do now, I will try to uh, to change dimensions to see if my thing works because this is uh, everything now. So I'll come here. And then I will uh, say uh, reduce breadth to 500. Uh, sorry, reduce breadth to 500. And then apply. You see, it works. Okay, let's say increase um, increase height to 700. Big H. Increase big H, say 700. And then apply. Yeah. And then uh, let's say increase this, uh, put it a uh, small H as 300. A uh, small H, small H, where this small H here. Yeah? Put it as a 300 and then yeah everything is working perfectly fine okay so now we can draw our we can draw our our beam because we don't have a beam now this is these are only different slides but we'll use this to uh, to, to to link uh, to link them to our beam so that way if you move these lines you move the beam <clears throat> okay so now let's go to creates and then I, I, I will use this. And there is a, there are a lot of shapes here. It doesn't matter. It depends what, what, what you want to do, how what, what shape you want to make. 
so for 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 our case we'll use this and then i will start with the um with the big uh I'll, I'll use this because i start i'm starting with the big uh, uh rectangle okay and then i will i have to lock them remember this is the key because uh, we are using the lines so you need to lock them to tell the software that uh, i want these dimensions to follow my reference lines dimension then i'll go edit top i will use this and then i will uh, also select and then again lock them just to make sure and then i will find so i'll say ready okay now i'll go into my reference level as you can see my beam is here is not here so what i want to do i will drag it uh, to here and then i will lock it again and then i will take it from his to here and then i will lock it uh, uh so now as you can see and uh, someone will ask me why there are three lines uh, actually these are for um for analysis purposes so uh, physically my beam is uh, uh, until here but uh, because you know uh, revit can also do analysis and then um, uh, according to those analysis purposes for analytical model they um they you need to use this okay you just need to know that <laughs> okay now i can go to 3d I can go to 3d and uh, uh, this is uh, my beam let me put it uh, let me reduce the scale so that it's small okay uh, and as you can see uh, if I wanted to change just to check again my beam I can I'll put it here let's say uh, let's um, let us reduce the thickness to 250 250 and okay see it became thin uh, uh, but I'll now I'll put it to 400 uh, apply okay so this is ready we can save this i will uh, just for the i will save it as uh, as varying varying beam okay and then i'll save it in my documents okay after that i will close just want to show you how we can use it in our revit for our um for our normal uses okay so now after um uh, when i op i'll say I'll, I'll go to new I'll go say structural templates and then uh, so this is a, a normal template that uh, I normally use for my day-to-day -day work so uh, say I want to draw uh, to, to um, say I want to use the beam that we have created so I'll go to structure and then I'll go to beam and then I'll go to a family okay and then uh, from here I have to, to locate where my beam was which is here and then okay okay so now we have it so if i want to draw it i can do like that as you can see it's already here and if i want to go to 3d it's here as you can see uh because uh, it's very long now we don't see the effect let me reduce the, uh, the length a little bit to say eight meter and then uh, if you go uh, you can see now um if you uh, want to change the parameters we again we can do that we can either go here uh, <clears throat> Say uh, I want to um, to increase the height, say to to, to one one point five meter, and a small height to little bit like that. As you can see, you see. So right now we have our our varying uh, beam, and this is how you do it. So guys, that's all I have for today. Leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you engineers. In the next one. Bye-bye.